Of course, highly produced content with, you know, the fancy DSLR camera and the big light kit and the boom mic and all of that stuff has its place. But for everyday social media content, people really crave really authentic, genuine content that they can relate to. Think about what you enjoy watching. Think about the type of content that makes you stop and think, I could have a drink with that person. That's the kind of content I'm talking about. And it doesn't require a bunch of bells and whistles. It requires four things. Number one, your smartphone. I would say that anyone who's on social media and using social media for their business more than likely has a smartphone. And the cameras on smartphones these days are really comparable to cameras that are huge and fancy and cost thousands of dollars. Number two, a light source. And yes, that could be studio lights and you know, even a, a ring light. Those are great if you need it. But honestly, I'm sitting in front of a window right now and the sun's natural light is really my preference. So get outside, absorb your vitamin D and take advantage of mother nature's light source. Number three, an idea. What are you gonna talk about today? And number four, the confidence knowing that you are an expert in your field. There are of course a lot of different apps and things that I know a lot of people like to use. I have a lot of friends that use CapCut to edit their videos. I use it occasionally. Um, also Canva is a great place to create a ton of different kinds of content and it's free. There is a paid plan, but you can do so much with the free version. The bottom line is just don't overthink it. Every time you turn on the camera to record, you are building that muscle. And over time, every time that you do it, it will get better and better. I guarantee it. If you stick with it and you just create the content and put it out there, you will get better. Now let's move on to episode number 10, where I will share some final tips. 